So you might be in this weird situation where you want to go ahead and delete your downloaded iOS basically updates on your particular iPhone. Now, luckily for you, it's a pretty basic process and it really doesn't take too much time at all. So the very first thing you're going to want to do is you want to go and make your way over to your iPhone settings. Now, when you come into your iPhone settings, you come into this page. The next thing you're basically going to want to do here is you want to scroll down until you see your general settings, which is right here. So what you want to do here is tap into general and then this next page is going to come up. Now, what you're going to want to do here is you want to scroll over until you see iPhone storage. So what you want to do here is you want to tap into iPhone storage and then you'll see this stuff come up. So now what you're going to see is you're going to see a bunch of different things. You're going to see basically all these things that will come up right here. What you want to keep your eye out for is you want to keep your eye out for those particular apps and those particular things that basically say iOS update or iOS 17.5 update or iOS 18.5 update or whatever that is, right? Sometimes those updates will come up right here. So you just want to go and keep scrolling through until you find that particular update. Sometimes they're not big ones, they're small ones. But once you find it, all you're going to do is tap on it. Now you can see this update is not an update, it's just uh, you know file size stuff. So when you find that update, all you want to do is you want to you know click on it. So whatever it is, you could say, let's just say this said the iOS 17 update. You would want to tap on it. Then what you'd want to do is you want to click delete or offload, and you want to delete it. So it's going to allow you to delete that update right there. And that's basically and that's basically all you're going to have to do. Now if you see an update here and it doesn't look like an update or for some reason it's not working, that may not be an update for you. So what you might have to do there is go and restart your phone or you know if it's not there, then it means there was no update that was downloaded. So that's basically the main way to go and fix this problem. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, not me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.